Welcome to the Two Brew Review and here in our luxurious uh, TBR 2.0 studios. Hope you enjoy this enhanced experience. Um, shout out to my friend Woody who uh, scored me this uh, sweet uh, uh, omnidirectional uh, microphone. Well, I gotta say I'm feeling a little, uh, um, little threatened by this thing. It's um, got quite the girth on it. So um, uh, but at least now I can do my, my ASMS, ASMR videos, I think it is, the ones where they, you know, like the sensory videos. Uh, anyway, I digress. Um, so we're here to talk about beer. And because it's the month of October, I thought it would be uh, fun to do a uh, beer pairing with Halloween candy. So each of the next five TBRs, I'm going to be pairing up a particular beer uh, with a certain category of Halloween candy. So the Halloween candy that we're going to be featuring uh, for this um, uh, review is your chocolate category. Now I'm omitting um, like chocolate with nougat and caramel and nuts in it. Uh, these are predominantly chocolate. And of course, you're talking like your, you know, your Hershey's, your M&M's I would throw in here. So... Um, what would go well with chocolate and there's a pretty wide swath of, of, of beers that would go with it certainly things that are malt forward uh brown ales amber ales um fest beers and dunkles which are uh, around quite a bit here in the fall season but the beer i'm going to pair it with is this vienna style lager it's called the dunkel lager it's from the folks at dovetail brewing uh, these guys are out of chicago but they employ a lot of brewing techniques that is and uh, beer styles that are from continental europe and this is certainly um, a, a, a German style um, uh, lager. So in fact, this style was developed at the Spaten Brewery. So those who know the Doppelbach beer style, that's, um, that's from the folks at Spaten. Uh, they are known for developing Munich malt, which is kind of a, a, a darker roasted malt, but the roasting technique um, gave it a, a nice color and flavor without giving it that uh, that burnt or smoky or acrid coffee like character. So again, you got the roast uh, without those um, those dark roast flavors. You still maintain some of the, the sweetness of the malt. You get a little bit of the, the darker color. Um, you might get a little bit of a smoky character in there, but certainly not a, a burnt or coffee or acrid type of flavor. So I thought this would really pair up well with, uh, with, with chocolate. Uh, real quick, this is a 16 ounce can. Looks like we've got about 5.1% ABV, so it's a very sessionable beer. And there's the Independent Craft Brewer logo. Let's go ahead and pop into this guy. And, and by the way, Dunkel is German for dark. So as one would assume, we're getting a nice uh, auburn brown color. We're getting some uh, just, a, you know, beautiful semi-translucent uh, look to it. You get the nice effervescence and you got the nice, um, the frothy uh, beige head. Oh yeah, so you, smell, it smells of caramel, smells of chocolate. Again, I don't really get a roast, maybe a slight smokiness. But uh, definitely it, um, chocolate, uh, chocolate malt forward. Cheers. Yeah, nice, nice sweetness, and the depth of sweetness. Um, something that I find with the box and doppel box, it's the melanoidins. It's those those higher sugars that are a result of the the way that they steep the grains. Uh, you get that uh, kind of a. I almost call it like a, a brown sugar uh, depth of, of sweetness to the uh, flavor to the beer. Mm. Also getting, you know, some, uh, some bread crust in there as well. Um, it's very rich and kind of mouth coating, but it's not heavy. It's got a classic clean lager finish and I uh, am getting a little bit of, a, of that noble hot hop bite in the back end. So um, very clean, uh, Kind of sweet, uh, but um, yeah, you know, malt forward, but not overly sweet. So, um, you know, a great comfort beer, especially uh, as the temperature starts to cool off here in the Midwest. Uh, this is a this is a great fall classic beer. Let's pair it up with a little bit of chocolate. Mm. Nothing like watching somebody eat and drink <clears throat> on video, huh? Um, yeah, great pairing. Um, it helps complement and just a little bit of contrast to the to the sweetness that's in the in the chocolate. It actually brings up more of the chocolate flavor and mutes some of the sweetness. So um, yeah, 
fantastic pairing. But again, I think any malt forward beer, I don't know if I'd go like stout or anything that's too um, roast, but definitely, yeah, amber ales, brown ales, um, Dunkel lagers, the fest beers that are out now. I think any of those would be a really good pairing with chocolate. So you get a chance to experiment and check it out. So hope you enjoyed um, this round of uh, pairing Halloween candies with beer. We'll do it again four more times. So there you have it. Uh, pairing chocolate with Dovetails, Dunkel Lager. Prost. <laughs>